I'd like to show you how you can apply traction tape to larger projects. So one thing that's really important is you need to make sure that your ruler is free of dirt and grime. So you want to wash it with like a liquid dishwashing detergent and rinse it off and then let it dry. And then the next thing is you need to plan where to apply it. I've got a left-handed ruler from Block Lock here and so I want to apply it to the left side of the ruler. If you're right-handed, you're going to want to apply it to the right side. And what you don't want to do is put it in the middle of the ruler because that's not really going to help you much. It needs to be along the leading edge of where you're going to be using it. So I've also assembled here some other things. Here's my package of traction tape, but I've already opened it. So here's traction tape. This is a mild detergent that will help you move the tape where it needs to be. I also have a rotary cutter and this little pink tape on there is to remind me that this is used only for paper and traction tape. And then I've got a rewards card that uh, they're not even um, operating anymore, but I use it to squeegee out the excess uh, surfactant. So the first thing you want to do is measure the traction tape and let it extend past just a little bit. I want to be frugal with this stuff. And then I'm just going to roughly cut that, get rid of it. Then you're going to place it on your mat with the paper side up. And then what you want to do is peel the paper away from the tape, just like that. It's sticking to my hands. Okay. Then you're going to take your spray, and this is just a mild detergent, and you don't need a lot. Put that on there, and then make sure that you put it to the underneath side of your ruler, and you want it to extend past just a little bit. That's why we apply it, because you want to be able to move it around. There we go. Just a little bit. Okay, then you're going to turn it over and squeegee out the excess. You want to get rid of any air bubbles, just like that, and then flip it over and set it somewhere to dry for about 30 minutes. I have another one here that I've already done. And then you also use this dull blade in your rotary cutter and you'll trim away the excess. And it'll stick. Get rid of that. And then there you go. So now it's ready to use. There are other times where you might not want to put it on a great big ruler um, and maybe you just want to put it in small places. So here I've got a cutting template of ours and I don't know if you can see it but I've cut off three chunks and put it in each corner. So you'll just take your traction tape and just cut off a piece and you don't need the surfactant, but you'll just peel this away and then apply it in each corner. On this one, it's got multiple rings, and so I have cut little slim pieces and put it on the underneath side of that. Here I have a long arm tool, and I did use the spray on this one, and I applied it on both edges because I you know, there's no marking on the front of this to let me know which way, so I applied it on both edges. And then on this one, I definitely used the spray, but the one place I didn't, and I'm not quite sure if this is going to show up on camera or not, but where this curve meets the roller arm on the long arm, I've applied a little piece there on each one, and then I also applied it along here. And when you see how well this grips, you're going to love this for long arm because it will not move at all. When they get dirty, and they will get dirty, it'll pick up lint. What you want to do is rinse it in the sink under lukewarm water, not hot, 
and if you wear hand lotion a lot like I do, uh, you might want to use some liquid dishwashing detergent and you want to rub it in with your hands. Don't use a scrubber or anything like that. Rub it into the traction tape, rinse with the lukewarm water, and then let air dry. It won't do you any good to try to dry with a towel because it'll just pick up more lint but that's how you'll keep it nice and clean. Um, this is not a dishwasher safe product, so you want to keep it out of the dishwasher, but uh, with proper use and, and care, you will get a lot of life out of it. Okay, to use traction tape, it's going to be used differently than a normal ruler. A normal ruler, we just push it aside, we cast it aside, and we don't think anything of it, but this is different. What you need to do is pick it up and place it rather than slide it. If you want it to last a long time, that's the way you want to use it. I've had traction tape on my rulers for many, many years, and as long as you operate it like that, it will work just fine, and it will not slip at all. One thing that I do is when I'm done making a cut, I do pick up this edge because I don't want it to slide bare on the mat, but I can slide it that way. And so you can get away with that. Another interesting thing with the traction tape is that I've got eight layers of fabric underneath this cutting template. Remember the one I just showed you that had the three pieces on it? Well, I can cut through eight layers and all I do is push down on the ruler and turn it and I don't need a turning mat. So I know that you're going to love this and just remember that you pick it up and place it rather than slide it sideways and it'll last a long time. Thanks for joining us today. Please visit our website for more information and happy quilting.